Hey, what's up miners? Chump Change XD here. Welcome back to the Chump Change channel. Today we're gonna to be testing out the RTX 3050 Zotac Gaming Edition on this PMD meter inside Hive OS. Bunch of different hash rates and we're gonna see the wattage draw on the riser and GPU. If you're interested in that, let's do it. All right, so first let's start by uh, opening this thing up. Let's see what she looks like. Got my chump change RGB knife, thanks to uh, Mr. Altered Component. Right, let's see. This GPU, by the way, is tiny. Wow, it looks exactly like a 3060 Ti. It has one eight pin, as you guys can see. Interesting, and these are the fans that absolutely stink, so hopefully these ones don't fail on me too. All right, so I just went ahead and grabbed a AAA Wave riser because I had one brand new riser left. So I'm gonna throw it on this card right here. As you guys know, it's the push and click, nothing crazy. And then I got the Misfit Mining tabletop stand that I personally 3D print when the store is open. I've had it shut down for about a month at this point just because I needed a little bit of a break, but I will get it back up and running this upcoming week. So as you can see, the tabletop stand just holds a GPU on a table and it actually has holes for fans. I give you some push uh, click connectors to pop the fan onto, which is pretty cool with these. So again, these are available in the Misfit Mining store. When it's open, I will leave a link below if I have a chance. This right here is the uh, PMD meter that I'm gonna hook up to it to check the power. So let's go grab the mining rig I'm actually going to disassemble. I'm gonna put it right here and then I'm gonna rip all the cards off it and I'm only gonna fire it up with this card on it because all those other cards are gonna be in a rig build real soon anyways. Here it is, we made it back. This is the rig from the garage. So this entire thing is gonna be ripped apart because I'm gonna be installing four more of these 6600 XTs onto a different like configuration of a rig. I have a 6600 XT here and here. I have the four there and then I have five more in the other room. So I'm gonna have a total of 11, I believe. So 11 6600 XTs are gonna be going on a 12 GPU sluice frame. And this VETA frame obviously is just gonna be out of here. I'm gonna be incorporating these with the other cards that are in the other room with those five Sapphire pulses that I'm taking off to put with the rest of the 6600. So let me disassemble this entire rig and then I will show you guys with just that single 3050 hooked up. Let's do it. All right, we're all disassembled. Check it out. So this is the uh, one of the 3060s. I think this one's an LHR. This one is a non-LHR from the pre-built machine. This is the 2080 I have that I mine flux on. Again, the 6600 XTs are both right here. And these cards right here, these are the PNY single fan 1660 Super Hynix memory that I actually BIOS modded. I do have a video for that. Go check it out if you guys have a second. If you have any Hynix 1660 Supers, totally worth it. These get 35 to 36 mega hash at 80 watts absolutely blows my mind. These cards are so underrated and I actually bought this entire mining rig used minus these two cards right here. So I do have a video on that as well. All right, right here, this is the setup. So we have the 3050 right there, chilling on the tabletop mount. Again, we have the Mad Electron power meter as you guys saw in the A2000 video. All right, so this is driving me nuts. We have the 495.46 driver installed and it still says device 2507. So now I'm gonna try to update like the kernel. I'm gonna try to update HiveOS again. I don't know why it says it still needs to be updated. So I'm gonna do that one more time. Man, this is crazy. Sorry guys, give me a second. 
All right, after all the mishaps, it ended up being the PMD cords that come with it factory are just awful. So toss those out, use regular six pins that you purchase from Parallel Miner or wherever. Links in the description below if you guys need them. All right, so here we are mining Ethereum. We are at 14.38 mega hash at 1050 for the core, 1400 for the memory, zero on the power limit and 46 watts in the software. If we look over at the actual PMD, you can see we're pulling 48 to 50 at the GPU. So that's pretty good. So as you can see, PCIe 1 has 43 to 45 watts and PCIe 2 is 6 to 7 watts. So total right around 50 watts. That's not bad at all. All right, so now let's jump over to ETC and see what it gets for a hash rate there. I'm assuming it's going to be pretty similar. All right, so here we are over on ETC and we're getting just around the same thing, 14.41 mega hash with 1050 on the core, 1400 on the memory. We have a 0% power limit and 75% on the fan, 46 watts in the software. Let's check the power meter. So overall, you're looking again, same thing, highest 52 watts, 53 watts. That should be the full use of the GPU right there. Now PCIe 1 is 43 to 45 watts. That goes directly to the GPU. PCIe 2 is six to seven watts, I guess. That goes to the riser, so pretty accurate. All right, let's get over to Ravencoin, see what that does. And here we are on Ravencoin. So as you can see, the 3050, 13.60 mega hash at 76 watts in the software, which is actually pretty good. We have 1250 on the core, 1400 on the memory, zero on the power limit. Let's check the power meter and see what that's looking like. All right, so the total power draw is about 80, roughly. Goes a little bit higher, but that is the whole GPU. I think that's including the riser, so we'll see the PCIe's in a second. PCIe 1, 69, 67. I know it's a little bright, hard to see, but then PCIe 2 is about 12 to 14. So yeah, it's about right, 80 watts or so. So now let's get over to Flux and see what we can pull there. All right, here we are mining Flux. So we have 25.80 souls. We did just have over 26. So these are the best clocks we came up with. 200 on the core, zero on the memory, 100 on the power limit, fans at 75%. It says 98 watts in the software and we're on G minor. Let's check the power meter and see what that is actually pulling. All right, so we have, geez, bounces everywhere. So it goes from like 80 to 140, I think I'm seeing. 80 to 150, that's crazy. I don't know why Flux is so all over the place. So PCIe 1 shows like 70 to 116. And then the riser would be 20 to 30 or 10 to 30. There you have it, about 150 watts or so. Now let's get over to Ton and we'll see what we can do there. And here we are finally at Ton. We have 1.32 giga hash, 200 on the core, zero on the memory, 100 on the power limit and 75% fan. That's 100 watts in the software. Let's check out the power meter. In total, we're getting 105 or so watts, right around 105. It just shows the entire GPU, so 107 is the highest I've seen. Then we have PCIe 1, which is the GPU itself, 80-ish, 81 watts. The riser, 25 or so. Cool. So be honest guys, what do you think? Leave it down in the comments below. RTX 3050, is this thing worth it for mining? I mean, probably not in my opinion. It did okay on Ravencoin, but everything else was pretty much garbage. $420, 
$420 I paid for this thing, MSRP. It just, it's not worth it. It was, uh, I think it was like 250 and like an hour and a half later online everywhere, it was like 450. It's just insane. I don't understand why they're marking these cards up so much. But either way, I mean, I wouldn't go out of my way to buy this thing to each his own, totally up to you guys. But if you haven't seen my RTX A2000 video, please click right here. Don't forget, hit that like, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.